folks, Mike Schramke with Larry Stove Sand Equipment, America's largest selling coyote dealer and Tennessee's only five paw premier dealer. I want to introduce you to Coyote's new CS20 series. It's a, uh, an update and an improvement and uh, overall redo of the venerable CS10 series. This is a Coyote CS2520. So it's a 25 horsepower. Also available in a uh, CS2220, which y'all are smart, that tells you what? Yes, 22 horsepower. Um, the same machine, a little bit extra horsepower, so, you know, whichever uh, would serve you best. But the main things to talk about on the new series are all the updates and upgrades they did for comfort and for ergonomics. The tractor, you know, when you look at a subcompact tractor, a lot of companies are tempted to market a, uh, I don't know, a bare bones entry level. Well, it doesn't mean that a person that needs a small tractor doesn't want nice stuff. And this one is loaded with nice stuff. A hydrostat transmission is standard. Two range hydrostat with side by side pedals where they should be. Four wheel drive, standard power steering, uh, diesel engine and a Coyote diesel engine. They were using a uh, Shibaro, which is a, a, a good motor. They used it for years on, on the CS series, but they brought it in-house now, and uh, in it, it has a Coyote engine, which we're real proud of. Um, some of the stuff that the tractor has, tilt wheel, very important on a, you know, if you're not built like everyone else, uh, nice feature. An electric PTO, something that uh, we've asked for, Coyote responded. Um, simply turn the uh, switch on and off to activate the uh, PTO. Uh, it does have a, a rear PTO, of course, and, and three-point lift. Uh, mid PTO, if you need a uh, mid-mount mower. Front PTO, if, uh, God forbid, you need a snow blower on these things. I've seen pictures, never sold one. Obviously, in Nashville, Tennessee, we don't do snow blowers, but uh, they're impressive looking. <laughs> I'd love to play with one as long as it wasn't here, because I, again, don't want it to snow here. Um, the other things, as far as ergonomics, the layout, check out the joystick for the loader. On the fender, it's been shaped to exactly match where your arm will, will naturally lay. The range selector, high and low range and uh, neutral in the middle is right here at hand. A, uh, that locks the loader in, in, you know, so that it can't go up or down. And the uh, three point lift is right here. The four wheel drive is just as simple as that lever to engage the four wheel drive. Um, the MLS valve, which adjusts how fast or how slow you want the three-point implement to raise, uh, to, to, to lower, pardon me. Uh, for example, I put this uh, post hole digger on it. This, this unit is sold. A man uh, bought it this morning, thank you, Steph, and he needed a post hole digger, so uh, you know, what better time to make a video um, when I cleaned and shined it for, uh, for delivery. Um, but a, a, a device like this, you wouldn't want it, you know, slamming the ground yet. You wouldn't want it taking forever to go down. Uh, that's the kind of thing the MLS valve would adjust. The tractor is standard with cruise control. A lot of these machines will be used for cutting grass. And uh, believe me, uh, cruise control is nice. Uh, as you would use it on your car, you would use it on this. And it's electric cruise control, not just a throttle lock. Um, over here, and I'll do a, a, a cut in picture. This is something you don't think about until you own the machine and you'll see what I mean. Check it out. Two USB charging ports for your cell phone or whatever. In fact, I, I wear uh, Beats headphones and uh, something like that can be recharged from the tractor along with my iPhone. Very cool. And right here you've got the uh, universal generic 12 uh, volt port. Just a, a small thing that at the time of manufacture probably didn't cost but a couple of dollars, 
but it's invaluable as you as you spend many many years with your tractor. Uh, front end loader has a grill guard and something that Coyote's never done on a subcompact. It's got a universal skid steer type bucket mount. The uh, loader will lift, uh, the loader, loader lift capacity, I'll get it out, is 700 pounds. So if, uh, if you needed to uh, put a set of pallet forks on there to uh, do some you know, stuff moving around, uh, it's set up for it. And, and what a nice thing. You can also get a third function valve. So if you uh, wanted to buy a uh, subcompact type of a grapple, good to go. It's got it. Just, I'm really, really delighted with the machine. They took what is a, 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 I said venerable, and I wasn't kidding. These things, we, we've sold them for some, uh, the 10 series, the CS 10 series. We, we, we had sold them for years, and uh, reliable as a, as a basset hound. Um, so when they started, you know, the manufacturer started uh, making noises that they'd like to, you know, upgrade it or replace it or whatever, you know, all the dealers are like, you know, be careful. It's, it, uh, don't break the mold. It's a, it's a great tractor if you wanted to upgrade some things, freshen it up, add some comfort, convenience items. Um, I'm excited they went with a Coyote engine. Uh, that's cool in itself. But the, you know, the, the, the tractor and loader weigh over 2,000 pounds. Uh, this, is, this is no, no garden tractor. This is a real tractor. Um, at the, uh, the last dealer meeting I went to in North Carolina, uh, they had one of these with a uh, disc on the back, a disc harrow. And uh, it was amazing what this machine will do. Uh, you know, we put it in low range and, and it's pulling a disc and I'm like, wow, cutting up the field. It, it, you know, it's a real tractor. So if you're interested in a, uh, in a really delightful machine, if you've got, uh, you know, five, six, seven, eight, ten 10 acres and you need to do some, you know, if you rotary cutter or a mid-mount mower or a finishing mower on the back, post hole digger like Steph bought, um, backhoe. These are the perfect platform for a backhoe. We sell a lot of CS series tractors with backhoes to, uh, to plumbers, electricians. They need to run, uh, uh, you know, a water line out to uh, some guy's barn or some guy's shed or uh, to install irrigation, but they don't want to have a heavy machine destroying the property, something easy to tow on their truck that, you know, uh, the CS series is a really, really nice platform for a backhoe. And I, I definitely have those as well. Um, just a great subcompact tractor. The CS 10 series was a really good compact tractor. The, uh, the CS 20 series is, is, is Excellent, just an excellent product. So well done, Coyote. Well done, engineers, manufacturers. Um, you listened, you responded, and you gave us a machine that will perform and people will genuinely like it. Anyway, one more thing. I notice things uh, as I move around. Okay, what goes bad on a tractor if you, you know, through the years, uh, leaving it outside and whatever? Believe it or not, it, it doesn't harm a tractor. You know, everybody knows somebody that had an old Massey 135 or a Ford 9N that's been outside for 75 years. But, um, simple thing. If you have to park outside, you leave it like this. It protects the seat from UV, protects the steering wheel from UV. Small thing, but I noticed. And, uh, and I think there's other items that a new owner would uh, be surprised and delighted by. Anyway, that is the new CS20 series. This one is a 25 horsepower CS2520, and its twin would be a 22 horsepower CS2220, all new loader, dual piston loader, one, two, instead of the center. Stability out the uh, wazoo dual cylinder, skid steer type bucket, so new loader, new tractor, available with a backhoe, mid-mount mower. Mid-mount mower can be 54 inches or 60 inches. It'll run any four foot implement, uh, five foot finishing mower or four foot rotary cutter. 
tiller, box scraper. It's, it's a real tractor, folks. Come take a look at new Coyote CS20 series. My name is Mike Schramke with Larry Stove Sand Equipment. You can find us at six, you could call us at 615-956 at lsetractor.com. You can email me at mike at lsetractor.com. I'm delighted. I would love to show you this machine. Thank you for watching my video. Please, please, please subscribe and hit the little notifications button. Notifications button. I'm having a hard time today. Let's talk coyote tractors, man. Watch my videos. Thank you.